also, I had my first casualty. No particular order. Let's get started with this grocery haul. That's nauseating. Oh man, guys, do we have a third cup? No freaking way. We all know how hippo feels about bedding. I don't, I don't need that energy in my life. Everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing super super duper well If you if you guys know me, you know, my voice has not recovered from this weekend yet Also, I had my first casualty. It's not broken off, but I was um, Trying to open the dishwasher thingy last night and it was kind of stuck And if I didn't have these long nails, I could like use my just fingertip my regular fingertip But because I have these ones and I think it's even worse because they're like attached to my nail So there's even more like leverage it has like on my nail to hurt it just oh it was so painful I like I like tripped it up and it just like oh my god I thought it was broken I, I can't imagine how people get these things caught on things and your whole natural nail doesn't fall off like these things are so stuck on which is great like the way they did it the adhesive is just like working real well but anyways my friends I find myself at market basket because it is the Monday after our friend Chrissy left the house is pretty clean because Jack cleaned it really thoroughly early before and we had food to get us through yesterday and now I need food for the rest of the week so that is why we are here there's also some laundry that we have to do for some reason since we and we did do laundry we did do laundry before she came but for some reason the clothes are like so overflowing but I most likely won't get to the clothes today it's more so the sheets just like washing the linens and the blankets and stuff and putting her pillows away we've hidden everything in like a closet or like in the dining room and stuff but I hope to get that stuff done but first things first let's get some groceries <laughs> We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign back from grocery shopping and this isn't everything I think I mentioned this in the car we did do a little bit of grocery shopping yesterday so this is going to be just everything that we didn't feel like picking up yesterday I think yesterday was just essentials and lunch so without further ado in no particular order let's get started with this grocery haul salsa corn great northern beans chicken broth green chilies crackers pumpkin pie bagels cilantro lettuce tortillas, chicken taco seasoning, an onion, apples, potatoes, a sweet potato, limes, half and half, frozen veggies, cream cheese, and a crap ton of chicken. So for dinner tonight, I'm making this um, white chicken chili that we have on rotation every fall and side note I feel like I never have meals that I know that we like for summer we always figure it out like we've got deconstructed burgers and like salads maybe stuff like that hot dogs like there are summer foods but mostly in the summertime you're not thinking up like really good recipes for summer stuff there might be summer salads like I'm saying or like bean salad corn salad stuff like that that's really good but mostly I'm thinking of patty where like we go out to eat and things like that and I just don't want to be cooking because it's hot outside you know whereas 
because in the fall or winter time, we have like all of these recipes that we know and we love and we're just getting back into it. I think we had cowboy casserole like one time when it was like rainy, transitioning from summer to fall. But that last two days and the second day we had it, it was like 80 degrees, so it just like felt wrong. But we're starting to transition into our crock pot meals and I am not mad about it. Also, side note to my side note, does anyone feel like we didn't get a transition this year? Like, I feel like it was summer and then maybe some days of like low 70s, I guess, but like that happens in the summer also here. So it didn't really feel like a transition. And then now it's cold. It's just cold. It felt like overnight we went from our light quilt that we have in the bedroom to bringing out the duvet again. The free, the, the duvet, if you guys have been here for a minute. You guys know the struggle of the duvet, but our friend Lauren taught me how to put on a duvet cover without wanting um, to crawl into a hole. So <laughs> that that's out of the way. But anyway, when I was thinking of the recipes that we have this week, we actually have, we have like chicken tacos that we could make tonight. If I didn't get this in the crock pot on time, but sometimes there is a like low for eight hours and high for this time. So I'm just checking to see if there's even an option to start right now because it's 1 p.m. And all of my planning has like gone out the window at this point. I'm like slowly making through my to-do list today, but none of it is actually within the hours that I had planned out for what it is. But that's fine. We're just taking it as it comes. Okay, so there is a high option for three to four hours and I can most likely by 1.30 I can get this in and then that'll be like a 5.30. Okay, I think that's a good idea. We should probably do this because otherwise we'll be having chicken tacos and I just don't feel like chicken tacos today. Let's get cooking. All right, my friends, for this recipe, we're gonna need two chicken breasts, garlic, chicken broth, two cans of northern beans, two little cans of green chilies, some corn, I have one can there, a yellow onion, we've got salt, we have pepper, we have, it's supposed to be chili powder, but the only one I had is chipotle, so we're gonna see how that tastes, oregano, cumin, and cayenne pepper. And honestly, it all goes in here, and we put it on for like high for four hours, and that's how we do it. Two chicken breasts on the bottom of the pan. I cannot believe that I am touching this right now. That's nauseating. Top with one teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, about one teaspoon of cumin, a little more because I love that taste, about three quarter teaspoon of oregano, but we are truly measuring with our heart here. <laughs> about half a teaspoon of chili powder, but since this is the questionable item, like I didn't really have regular chili powder, I had Chipotle. I think I'm gonna stick with a true half teaspoon because it's very Chipotle-y. And they say a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but I know both Jack and I really like spice, so I'm gonna go a little bit more than that, and then we usually put the cayenne pepper on the table just in case we want extra spice in our bowls. A whole diced onion into the box. One of the cans of great northern beans, all rinsed. And the second one, drained can of corn. The first can of chilies, I don't drain or rinse these. I just do the whole can into the pot. And the second one going in. How many ounces in a cup? One cup is eight fluid ounces. This calls for three cups of chicken broth. I have this leftover from a recipe that we made recently. So before I open the new can that I got at the store, which will last forever, let's see how much we have in here. One cup, two cups. Oh man, guys, do we have a third cup? No freaking way. Basically, three cups exactly left in this. That's awesome. I almost forgot the garlic. It says two cloves, so I'm gonna do like maybe two to three table, no, tablespoons, <laughs> two to three teaspoons. That looks like what a clove might be, but we are a garlic loving family, so why not? More the merrier. And then I double check, I've got everything in here. We've got chicken and onion, garlic, chicken broth, northern beans, diced green chilies, corn, salt, pepper, cumin, oregano, chili powder, cayenne pepper. Calls for a fresh cilantro. We've never put fresh cilantro in there. Maybe we'll top it with it at the end, but that's about it. And then we mix it all together and you know you've got the best of both worlds. And then when this all cooks down, we end up adding a little bit of cream cheese and a little bit of half and half at the end. You can negate that if you don't want the dairy. Sometimes we do one or the other, but but we haven't had this recipe in literally so long, so I just want, I want to do it right today. But that goes in at the end to cook for 
like 30 more minutes or so. I love recipes that have a high setting option for when you forget to do it in the morning. I'm sure technically the flavors all kind of like cook down together nicer if you do low, but we've had great luck with high on this one. So it says low for eight hours or high for three to four. And let's just do the full four because I'm not messing with with chicken. Chicken freaks me out. And there we have it. All it does and then just cooks. And then dinner's dinner's ready. Dinner's on the table. And that took us about 16-ish minutes from when I first started talking to you guys deciding whether I should cook this or not. And the cleanup is super minimal. This is just all stuff we have to put away. And then these are cans we have to rinse out and recycle. You've got one cutting board and a knife from your onion. And other than that, that's that. All right, the next order of business, I'm just like tackling little things at a time. Grocery shopping done. Dinner set. Jack's cooking me up a chicken boob. <laughs> I have to stop calling things that we call in real life like to the ball. Now, something that's really bothering me, the fact that you walk in here, can't, can't tell if you can tell, but it's just, like a just like a wall this all used to be cleared and we do have our boxes from fall decorating here which we'll keep because Christmas before you know it it's gonna be here so this will be nice that the boxes are already up for us to put the fall decor but this just makes it feel more wall like so this is all the blankets that we had Chrissy on Chrissy's bed while she was staying here we would just like put them away during the day just so hippo wouldn't like lay all over them got for bit pee on them. We all know how hippo feels about bedding. And then without that, it's honestly not too bad. We just stack the weights over here when we're not using them. Oops, okay, well, they just stack there. I mean, you can tell like if these boxes weren't here, it would just be all clear right here, but it's organized. Honestly, there is an organization to this. It's just not piled on. But that, I wanna do a big blanket load of laundry. Let's do that real quick. <laughs> Bub, did you just make a list on Google? No, I've had that going. That's how we keep track of things. But I didn't know that Google sinks a book. <laughs> Do you want to help me yeah. for a second do down to the laundry? Huh. It's so heavy. Can yeah, I can get it. It's just so heavy. Thank you. And then we've got this random bag here. I'm gonna pop right back up so we can start for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I know, right? You might as well just wash all of them. Spoopy, spoopy, spoopy. So spoopy. Guys, low key, I don't know if we've ever like shown you, we've probably shown you the basement, but the building here is so old. These are all old horse stalls used as now storage units for each of the apartments. I left them on top so you could film it. Thank you, baby. And every time I'm down here, I have my back up against the wall so I can just survey, you know? Um, I don't know how much of this I have at all, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna dump in everything here, just one by one, and then use what I've got. Chrissy said the bed was really comfortable, so 10 out of 10 on the new sheets. I wonder if this is gonna be too heavy because this is a lot of blankets. Seems to be a little too stuffed. This one, I'm gonna I'm gonna veto this one. This one usually went on top, or like in the middle. So I think we're I think this one's just fine. Now I'm gonna pray to the detergent gods that we have. Oh oh yes, queen. Detergent goes like a longer way than I feel like we think it does. I also never film down here because one, it's like a public laundry room, and so anyone could kind of come in here. But our washer and dryer, low key. Um, are like attached to like our unit. So we always have like our own washer and dryer, but I'm always afraid when I'm like going back and editing footage that I'm gonna see something. <laughs> I don't I don't need that energy in my life, you know? Right, this is officially done. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. You guys, this, I don't, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the amount of love that Hippo has for chicken is unmatched. And every time we are making chicken in the kitchen, she is always here, always there staring at us, or if she's feeling very confident, she's like all up in our business. Jack made her a special plain bit of chicken in the oven right now and like cut it up into pieces. Oh my God. 
Save some for Miss Allie, okay? I did it. Oh, you did? Oh, this whole is for Miss Allie. Jack literally is making chicken in the oven for himself. He has like all of his seasonings and everything on it, but then made a tiny bed for both of yeah. his fur babies. Just some plain chicken breast. Yeah, just some plain chicken breast. She can't get over it. She is literally... <laughs> Did you see how fast she came in? Oh, yeah. I don't understand is how she can smell it when it's raw Like I swear when I pulled out the chicken for the chili She was all up in here and I am like it doesn't really smell like like anything They can, they can smell things we can't It's crazy You know like dogs can pick out individual scents and in chili or whatever whatever that Oh yeah I, I don't know, know if that. it's true or not but Hi honey She's so happy Oh my gosh Oh so yummy I'm so a little bright dog <laughs> it's a little dry. Could you do a little better next time? Hi friends. I don't really know when I last took the camera out. I think it was laundry. And to update you, if that that would have been Monday, I still um it's still in the dryer. I definitely forgot about it. And now it's still in the dryer. But we put it on another cycle yesterday because I know that all of that bedding would definitely not have dried on just like one cycle. But that's how I do I can't do I can't do laundry. Like I try my absolute hardest, but I don't think there's ever been a day in my life where I've done a load of laundry, washed and dried, folded and put away all in one day. I don't think that's existed at all, if I'm being honest. But today is Wednesday and Jack and I later today after lunch are going to Starbucks to work out of. It's just such a great change of pace. We did it once before and like absolutely loved it. I was very productive too. So it kind of just like makes you sit down and like do work instead of being at home and having all these distractions, which has been really hard for me lately. I feel like I've been not very productive. Um, I digitally plan usually but whenever I don't, this is what happens. I'm, ve I'm not very productive. I don't get a lot done. But yesterday was a massive content shoot day and I was talking about this on stream actually and I thought it would be really interesting in case you guys are also wanting to post consistently on places or like up your social media game, stuff like that. I saw this tip on TikTok once and this creator was, excuse me, we have so much construction. And this creator was talking about how she stays consistent on like TikTok or Instagram or wherever she wants to post consistently. And it's such a simple thing, but it actually helps so much and she advised to batch content And at first I was like, okay, that can't really help that much But the thing that gets in my way when I think about posting consistently or posting more on TikTok or more on Instagram or consistently on Instagram is when it comes time to be like, oh, I think I should post right now I don't have content at the ready or at least planned out content So it feels kind of rushed and just like not very thought through which those posts can be really really great And it's not like I don't do that or don't like to do that in general but when I'm trying to like plan out my feed because I just love a good feed and also be more intentional with what I'm posting batching content and shooting content on a specific day I did that yesterday and I try to do that at least once a week for TikTok specifically I do it on the days where I'm streaming because I typically do my makeup on those days anyway and I just make sure to do my makeup a little bit ahead of time in order to then have like one to two hours two hours is like the the ideal at least because like TikToks take me so long. Depending on the TikTok, it takes me so long to learn it. But then at the end of it, I have all of this content that I can slowly either edit or release as I need to throughout the week instead of just coming to a point where it's like, I should really post on TikTok today. What should I post? Oh, I don't have anything. Okay, let me find something, you know? So that's what I did yesterday. It was a content heavy day. I did that and then we also streamed, which was so fun. The support was so great. Thank you. The support was so crazy yesterday. Thank you so much. That was so much fun. But keeping with the theme of getting stuff done, I have had these receipts in my um, drawer. My drawer is like the top left one in this like armoire thing in our living room. For a while, I like dumped my entire tote bag full of like receipts and stuff for when Chrissy came. I just wanted to like clear everything out before she came. But I didn't have time to do what I usually do with receipts. And I started using this app. This is zero sponsored, not sponsored at all. I just like sharing things that I really like with you guys. I started using Fetch. You guys have probably seen them because I saw them through a YouTuber that was sponsored. And basically what you do is you scan any receipt. Like there's not any specific type of receipt 
that won't get you points. And you get at least 25 points for just scanning a receipt in general. So even if any of the items here aren't like specialty items within Fetch, you still get 25 points for scanning a receipt, which is great. And then because of just simply scanning receipts, you receive like $5 off home goods, $10 off Target, like when you get to certain amounts. And I freaking love it and it's so easy. And I hook it up to um, Amazon, like you can hook it up to your email on Amazon so that it can scan your e-receipts. So if you buy stuff online, like right now I'm gonna scan my e-receipts and it goes checking email and then it goes checking Amazon. And so I get like actual points for buying stuff online too. It doesn't even have to be a physical receipt. Here's an example. I bought something from Lowe's. It's actually the baby gates that are gonna go on that door to reintroduce Miss Allie and Hippo. And so I bought those and it gave me 300 125 receipts one for just scanning a receipt but then two there was some sort of bonus for scanning a receipt going on which they do quite often and then the next e-receipt that they found was from amazon and just for scanning it i get 25 points and then i click this arrow to go to the next one i get another 25 points what was that for chewy chewy.com just for buying pet food and so even though you get like 25 points just for scanning you can see all of these special products that are on their thing weekly. So if I'm going grocery shopping like anyway and I want bread, this Arnold oat nut bread gets me 200 points automatically if they find it on a receipt that I scan. Thomas English muffins, which are just the standard English muffins I feel like that a lot of people eat, get you 200 extra points. For specific toilet paper and paper towels on here, Dove hand wash, any variety gets you a thousand points. So I think it's really cool. Oh my gosh, there's toilet, yeah, there's toilet paper, tissues, Papa John. And $25 at Papa John's and I could get 2,500 points. So it's really easy to start racking up points if I'm being honest. Like right now, I'm almost at 5,000 points and I just spent 5,000 points on a $5 Target gift card. I feel like, like literally the other week, I think I vlogged the time I went to Target. I used a gift card that I got from Fetch for that. So again, this is not sponsored whatsoever, but everyone that signs up gets a referral just in case you guys want like 2,000 extra points, I think. I get 2,000 points and I think you get 2,000 points when you sign up with like my referral thing. So I'll leave it down below because when I signed up, I got 2,000 points for signing up with a referral and I was halfway to $5 off of Target. So I'll leave that down below, but I'm about to get rid of all of these extra receipts that were just sitting in my bag. <laughs> I could say I was finally over you. Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Where'd you go? There she is. Hi, darling. Hi, Mingo. They ran out of cold brew. Fuck. <laughs> but it's half cold brew, half iced coffee. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you're doing well. Thanks, Mom. Look how light they did mine. What the is this? What the heck is this? Very light. But cheers to milky coffee. Guys, this is the third location we tried to get to just for like a special afternoon coffee today. Yeah, I didn't tell them the situation, but that is the situation, guys. But this tastes good. It's very milky and very delicious. That's all so, I need. That's all I need. When I got Jacob's Boston cream donut. I love that. Awesome. I wanted a pumpkin donut. They didn't have any though. How is it? I'm gonna have a pumpkin spice bagel when I get home. Fine. Twist my arm. I think we need fully donut. Right now? No, but like. Soon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure you do so down below because we upload videos here every single Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Everyone, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one, my friends. We'll see you later. Bye.